What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very stressful, very important video. As you can see, we got the bug behind me, we got my wife's car in the garage, and I'm going to explain really quickly what happened. So, um, I've been working pretty long days, working a lot of hours, whatever, there really is no excuse. But, um, we had my wife's car in here because we were doing some painting and a little bit of body work on the trunk, because it was really bad. And I pulled the bug out, was driving it around and everything this weekend. Well, yesterday, uh, we had to do some stuff after work, and we cleaned out a storage unit, some stuff, and I came in the garage, and I was trying to figure out why in my head I needed to move my wife's car out, and I was just, couldn't place it, and I was like, well, I'm not gonna work on the bug tonight, because it was like nine o'clock at night or eight o'clock at night, so I was just like really tired, and I'm just going to bed, because I gotta get up for work at like 2.45 in the morning. So, basically, I was like, couldn't place this, like whatever. Left her car in here, left the bug out there, and it's all melted now, but we got about four inches of snow, which usually wouldn't be a problem. I really don't care about having this car in the elements. <sighs> but it got into the high teens, 18, 17 degrees last night and this morning, and I remembered that I have straight water in the bug. So at about 3 a.m. when I was on my way to work, I didn't have time to turn around and do anything about it, and it was already covered in snow and already below freezing. So I've been stressed all day. I worked like a 13 hour day today, of course, and now we are back, got the hood up on the bug. We are going to fire it up, pull it forward, and pull my wife's car out of the now messy garage, pull the bug in and do some inspecting. Um, so basically right now, uh, like lines aren't frozen and I can't see any water visibly on the block, but I'm going to fire it up, pull it in, let it warm up, uh, get some coolant circulating. It's a little bit windy. Get some coolant circulating and let's see if it makes a milkshake or if we have any signs of a cracked block because I am pretty dang confident that we probably cracked the block. So I'm gonna throw you guys on my head and get with it. First things first, let's uh, see if our water pump start circulating or if it's frozen. Fans are on. Water pump is working, so that's cool. I was worried the water pump froze and cracked also. Let's see if she uh, starts. Sometimes you need a little throttle when you cold start this bad boy. I see coolant, water running out of it bad. Oh man.
obviously there's a gap between my last video and this video. I got the engine all put back in. I've got some footage I'll throw in of me doing some stuff, but I didn't record it all because it's just stuff you've already seen. You saw the engine come out, you don't need to see it go back in. But we got the engine all back in and we've been driving the car around and it seems to be fairly healthy aside from letting it sit out in below freezing temperatures all night with water in the cooling system. So it is what it is. Um, we're gonna dive into checking on it and seeing if it's hurt or not. here real quick it is so loud um i doubt you can hear me but the water that's dripping off is cold so i don't think it's coming from the block um i think it just still had snow and all the vents and everything and it's melting off so we're just gonna keep going around and then check the oil and see if it milkshakes Alrighty, if my neighbors don't hate me by now, then I've got some really good neighbors. But I'm sure everybody within like a block radius absolutely hates me. So I just let the car idle for about 10-ish minutes. It is straight piped, so it's violently loud. Um, so far, no leaks. Um, if you look, I don't know if the GoPro can pick it up. There's two puddles underneath there. Um, but I touched them and they're cold. They're just snow that melted off from, you know, like this cowl area, that vent in there, I'm sure some of this, like just snow that got in there because there's like four or five inches of snow on this thing this morning. But I think the snow may have acted as kind of like an insulator because obviously, uh, you know, freezing is 32 degrees for water, but the snow can actually insulate and keep it above freezing in like an igloo situation. Um, so, I think that's what happened. I checked the oil a few times while I was running. I'm gonna check it again real quick. Throw you guys on my head. As far as I can tell, no cracked block. But no milkshake and uh, no signs of a cracked block. So I am beyond happy about that. I may not look it because I'm tired and I just worked a 13 hour day with an hour commute each way. But oh my goodness, am I relieved guys. Um, LS Fest is in exactly nine days and 11 hours and 28 minutes. We need to leave here for LS Fest. And uh, I've been stressing 
all day today and <laughs> very, very discouraged because I thought that my own tiredness and stupidity cracked my block, but it looks like we're okay. So I need to go drive the car around a little bit, but we just got it up to about 170 all the way around 160-ish on the coolant temp and it didn't, uh, <laughs> yeah, it isn't spewing coolant into the oil. Um, it might be pushing oil into the coolant. I need to check that. Um, I know if I've got water in my oil, it'll at least get milky and foamy. So I'm gonna do some more tests, but I can fairly confidently say that somehow we're, yeah, I'm insanely lucky and didn't hurt it. I've been so stressed all day. So it looks like we will be making LS Fest West 2022. Um, man, this has been such a freaking stressful day. Yeah, I am super relieved, super happy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to stay hungry, stay humble, stay motivated. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.